up, y'all? I'll bring you guys another video. So if you follow Eddie Hearn, Mr. Eddie Hearn of uh, Matchroom, who promotes Daniel Jacobs, uh, he recently posted up this photo of Daniel Jacobs, who appears to be in amazing shape uh, for his upcoming fight against John Ryder. To those who don't know, Daniel Jacobs will finally have his UK debut, British debut, fighting in the UK for the first time on the 12th of February, February 12th. Over uh, 2022, over at the Alexandria Palace in London, in the UK, to be shown live around the world on the Zone. As long as you have the Zone in your country, whether you live in the US, UK, Canada, you should be able to watch this fight live on the Zone. But for whatever reason, it's not available in Australia and New Zealand. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, that sucks. Anyway, um, yeah, it's a very good fight. I'm excited for this fight. And talking about this photo, you know, I see people post it on social media, and a lot of people are accusing Daniel Jacobs of steroids or using banned substances because he works with SNAC. SNAC, to those who don't know, um, I don't know what it actually stands for, but I, I always see it. You know, a lot of fighters go to them and train with them and use them. Um, to prepare for fights, uh, the main man of <laughs> SNAC nutrition is this man right here, the founder Victor Conte. If you guys don't know, Victor Conte is uh, known to do shady shit in the past, but you know here he is um, now apparently a a <laughs> honest nutrition person. <laughs> a lot of people don't think he is, but like I said, a lot of people are accusing Jacobs of using some type of banned substance but you know he hasn't tested positive but at least to my knowledge he's never tested positive a lot of people said that Victor Conte has figured out a way to go around this test but you know it, um, you know it depends on what you believe in right everybody's entitled to their own opinion um, but a lot of people work with SNAC with Victor Conte um, Mikey Garcia, it works with them. Boo Boo Andre works with them. Um, I believe Devin Haney also works with them. I think Nonito Donaire also. Luis King Ortiz. A lot of fighters work with SNAC. So, um, if you think they're dirty, they're dirty. If not, they're not. I mean, it depends on what you believe in. In my opinion, so far, you know, I believe I believe Vada. Um. You know, I trust Vada. Uh, I'm not sure if Vada is testing the fighters for this event, for this fight. Uh, I believe the British Boxing Board of Control that has their own uh, type of random testing. Correct? Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, I I, I I think Jacobs is a clean fighter, man. Um, I don't know why people are accusing him of using stuff. But I'm excited for this fight. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to uh, Jacobs' debut in the UK. The Miracle Man versus the Gorilla. Let me know your thoughts and comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. Alright, thanks.